Pd. Well, Luke Berry and Jimmy Barker head to head here. Luke fighting out the blue corner with the black shorts and white trim and red gloves. And the black gloves and white shorts of Jimmy Barker. Oxo's Jim and CBK head to head here. Oh, the head's high. You can see that already from Berry. He needs to lift those hands up when the man's low below him. He's got that reach. He will be looking down at his opponent. But at the moment, he needs to tighten those hands up for me. Build up from both fighters. Oh, turned him round with one shot, then the left hand. The left hand's looking dangerous over the top here, but he's wearing it well, Berry, at the moment. Berry needs to wake up and throw shots now. Needs to be more aggressive. Get himself in this fight. You've only got three rounds, you can't buy too much time. Big heavy artillery to the body, good catch on the inside with the left hand from Berry. But he's getting worn into that corner at the moment. A little warning from the referee there. That's a lot better from Luke Berry. Barker, very aggressive, putting it on him. And then Berry showed he's got quality punches on the inside. But it is quality and not quantity at the moment. And we need to see more from Berry. This is where he needs to be jabbing. He's the taller, rangier fighter of the two. He needs to be pushing that right hand out and jabbing. Shot to the body again. advantage here from Barker after that first round for me. Just a work rate alone and I think he's really cool. Very cold yet. Or too clean. Body shots worked in but Berry can find a shot on the inside. Happy to walk on the back foot. And there's the jab. He needs to utilise that more. Ooh, two shots after they split. find his range with those shots. If Berry's clever, he can keep him at bay with that reach. Barker wants to come under the shot all the time. That's why he's fainting all the time when he steps forward and tries to get under the hand. There he just went right under and got caught cold the wrong side. That's a better left hook from Barker. But he's walking into the left hand of Berry as well. He's getting confused by the southpaw. He's not seeing the... Uh, he's not seeing the left hand come in when it's tight on the inside. He needs to move to his left, move away from the power of Berry. Now he comes on the inside and gunslings over the top. Just avoiding at the moment is Berry. He does need to watch his head when he's got the man under him like that. He's tuck his chin in. We're going to see Barker catch him at the moment, the way he's boxing, but... An aggressive opponent. He'll definitely get over the top of that. He tries to go body and head. Seconds away. Firm and final round. 
Well, this has turned into a well-matched bout, this one. And I was uncomfortable watching um, Berry as this bout started. Just where his head just looked very high and open, but Barker didn't take advantage of that, and Berry's got into this fight a little bit. He does look after himself on the inside. He doesn't want to get hit in the body. There's the shot that I feared before, but he's worn it really well. Struggling to get a shot off at the moment, though. Barker's head tucked nicely under his shoulders as he slings bombs. He's going to get this fight and aggression alone. He needs to pick his shot sometimes as well, Barker. Have a look where they're going. See him home. Now he gets worn at range. But then just covers the ground too easy. Berry needs to jab and move. Jab and move. Just don't stick there on there. When he stays there, he's going to wear one back. You can see Berry keying it up. Uh, Barker, rather. But it's all flurries at the moment. Oh, there's a big left hand over the top again. And another one. And there's going to be a standing eight count. A bit disgruntled. I don't think he's really hurt Berry, but he just doesn't look after himself well there. He just needs to learn how to hide behind that shoulder. He needs to get that hand up when he's there and tuck his elbow down and protect his body. He'll learn everything and watch him fight back as well. Wiser and stronger. But that standing eight count really, really is the distance between these fighters now. And this should be a safe win for Jimmy Barker here at EBA in conjunction with CBK. Well, it's a well matched bout for me. Texas, please. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of EBA boxing, we do have a unanimous decision. And that decision goes in favour of. The red corner, Jimmy Barker. Ladies and please go for a fantastic contender, Mr. Luke Braver. Once again, your winner representing Team Ox, Jimmy.